Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to be showing you how to change your date formats. Well, so in the last lesson, uh, we made this view page, and here it says the post date is Saturday, April 21st, 2012, and then the time. So let's say we want to just say something like sat, you know, 4 or 21, 2012, or something. You can actually have it say whatever you want. So if we go into the view, you can see under post date here, it offers a couple of date formats. Our options are long format, medium format, short format, um, time ago. There's all sorts of stuff in here. Um, and even this one I've already created called article format. And this says Monday, comma, May, Mun 2012. Well, let's say we wanted to create our own. None of these are quite working out for us. What do we do? So let's click out of here and let's go to configuration. In configuration, we can go down here all the way to the bottom, and then there's a date and time under regional and language. And as you can see, these are our date types. We have long, medium, short, and article. And they're using specific formats. So let's add our own date type. And we're going to select this. We're just going to be a uh, new date. And the format, let's click this, and you can see there's a whole ton of options here but they're all kind of similar. They all have the time after them. Um, and while some of them, you know, might be perfect for you, you can just select one of these and use it. However, if there's not something that's totally here for you, you can create your own date format. So let's cancel out of this. Let's go back to date and time. And you can see in this tab over here in the top, there's also a formats tab. If we click that, it's going to get to here. And uh, you can see this is the Monday, May, Mon, whatever. This is the one that I created already that we're using in the article type. So let's create a new format that we can add to our new date type. So it's going to ask you for a format string. And if you're not familiar with uh, PHP date formats, then um, you can just click this link to the PHP manual, and it's going to give you your options. So we're going to open this in a new window. And these are really just straightforward. So. If you want the, let's say, the day with the leading zero before it, we can just do a lowercase d. And as you can see, it even has a little preview here. So you can make sure you're getting exactly what you think you're supposed to be getting. So we want to say, uh, let's delete this d. We want to say that this post was done on, let's just say, the month, and then the day, and then the year. But we're going to have it be uh, the short, short for the month. So if we go here, you can see that if you just wanted to say Jan or the first three letters, we can use a capital M. So we're going to say uh, May and then space. And then now we're going to have the day, which we had before, which is a lowercase d, space. And then so now it's saying May 7th. And we want the full year. Let's see, the full year is a four digits, is a capital Y. So capital Y. So now our date's going to say May 7th, uh, 2012. And if you want to add things in here like an exclamation point or commas or any miscellaneous characters, as long as they're not uh, default characters into this, they'll show up. So you can see this exclamation points came in here. And then when I added some other stuff, um, it all tried to give you the actual time format representation of it. So let's get rid of these. But, you know, if you want to add a comma or a period or whatever, that's no big deal. So let's click Add Format. Okay, it's telling me I have lots of updates. I get it. Okay, so now you can see our two formats are uh, the one that I created before and this new one, May uh, 7th, 2012. So now if we go back to Types and we add a new date type, we'll call this New Type. And look at our date formats. Our new format that we just created is going to be right here at the bottom. So let's add date type. Okay, we'll save configuration. Now let's go back to our view. We'll edit the view. And then under post date, we'll click this again. We're going to select our new date format, which we called, um, we called it new type format. Here we go. So apply to this display. And now we're going to save. And as you can see, our posts now say post date April 21st, 2012, just like we wanted it to. 
And so if you ever get hung up, just check out this, uh, the PHP date functions, you know, the date formats. It, the link for this is in the date formats page if you lose this or you don't know what this is. Um, so don't worry about that. When you go to create your new date format, it will give you this link. Okay, so that's how to create a new date format. You can create as many of them as you'd like. You can tweak them. You can do whatever you want. Totally customizable, up to you. In the next lesson, I'm going to show you how to use the commenting system Discuss on your website. So we're going to be adding the Discuss module, and then we're going to be configuring and setting up Discuss with your own account. Once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment on the video. Let us know what you're thinking. We always love to hear from you, and thanks for watching. Bye.